Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Here in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the Samsung recruitment process or hiring process. So, Samsung is a product based company. It is a South Korean multinational company which whose headquarters is in Samsung Town CEO. So, it comprises of many affiliated companies and most of them are united under the Samsung brand. Now, if I am talking about the Samsung career, Samsung is an amazing place to work with great people. It, it has an outstanding environment and it has an extensive support for the employees and uh, it gives you the opportunity to be the part of every innovation and uh, like many uh, what good projects you will get over there and you will get a very good experience if you work in Samsung. So here we will discuss about so uh, Samsung careers basically many job opportunities are there in Samsung so we will see the job role and its eligibility criteria and how you are supposed to apply for the particular job. So first let me discuss about the job role as a fresher for the role or the designation connectivity framework developer. So here the designation is connectivity framework developer, eligibility criteria any graduate and the location is in Bangalore. So year of passing 2021, 2022, 2023 batch freshers can apply for the same. So here uh, in the eligibility criteria right uh, you can be uh, from any graduate. So you should be a graduate like students of BE, BTEC, MTEC, MCA, MBA like technical background right and you should have a minimum of 60 percentage in your 10th. Uh, 12th and graduation and post graduation and uh, these three years that is 21 22 and 23 batch freshers are eligible to apply for the samsung off campus drive which is going to be conducted in 2023 right so if you satisfy all the conditions you are eligible for this particular drive and gap if there is gap between your academic years it should not be more than two years right so for the designation connectivity framework developer you should be a 2021 2022 or 2023 pass out student so be btech mtech mba and mca graduate 60 percent each should be there in your 10th 12th and uh, till your current semester which you are applying so if you are satisfying all the particular conditions you can apply for this particular row yeah and here Samsung off-campus selection processes, uh, three rounds are there. Basically, uh, three rounds are conducted in every company, right? Online written test, then technical interview, then HR interview. So if I'm discussing about the written test pattern, you will get questions from quantitative ability like uh, data interpretation, data sufficiency, which will be consisting of an approximate 30 questions. And logical reasoning will be there, which consists of around 20 questions. So uh, the total number of questions is 50 to 80 it varies and uh, time limit like per question one minute. So this is for the role connectivity framework developer. Now let us discuss the eligibility criteria for the role designation blockchain backend developer which is also posted by Samsung only. Here you should be uh, from any batch like here uh, there is no criteria like you should be this year pass out or that year pass out. So you can be from any batch but you should be a graduate BE, BTEC, ME, MTEC or any technical graduate. So job location for this is also in Bangalore and here the CTC is up to 14 LPA. It is a blockchain backend developer. So respective of the batch of your batch you can apply for the same so basically this job description that is blockchain uh, developer right so you need to develop a back-end server that includes uh, business logic linked to various data story solutions and you should uh, design a back-end server system by using technology which is appropriate for the server environment so if i'm talking about the roles and responsibilities you should be uh, have good knowledge on web servers like core java spring boot uh, then DynamoDB, 
then uh, amazon web servers cloud skills blockchain uh, and uh, so you should have uh, like uh, in depth software systems like problem solving and uh, coding skills so you should have an experience in hadoop and big data uh, which is uh, like which shows a big advantage yeah so this is for the role blockchain developer yes and how you can apply for the sde roles that is software development engineer so there are actually uh, primarily two ways to apply for the sd position at samsung so one is online like how you can apply is on the samsung official website the pa the page which uh, i have opened is the samsung official website which is www.samsung.com so you can apply for the number of positions at the company so here the career pa page right which will be listing all the job positions of just found on the official website so job openings will be there in variety of uh, uh, professions like including r and d like research and development or in design uh, sales and marketing general management everything so everything can be found on the careers website itself so it will enable you to identify a position that will fit uh, for you perfectly right so then uh, this is online and on campus placements is also there which is uh, another way where uh, samsung recruit new employees right so here the graduate students will be hired by the company by approaching the approaching the colleges and all so uh, for the ste uh, role the eligibility criteria uh, should be you should have 70 percentage or above in the 10th 12th and 7 cgp in b btech mtech n and you should ha not have any backlogs uh, during the application process so the selection process it is already well structured and defined right so first stage you will be uh, having the online test or uh, we have a uh, writing an exam for this sd role right we have one test that is global samsung aptitude test gsat so gsat will be comprising of many sections like uh, you can expect questions from quantitative ability reasoning and then uh, technical aptitude question so see quantitative ability means uh, they are meant to test the numerical skills of the candidate so there will be around 50 questions which has to be answered around 60 to 180 minutes and uh, the syllabus if i am telling about uh, quantitative ability uh, you will get questions on simplification percentage uh, time and work time speed and distance ratio proportions average and all and the reasoning questions also the same way you will get around 60 to 90 minutes to solve approximately 20 to 30 reasoning questions here data interpretation logical reasoning analogy blood relations all those steps and technical aptitude question what does this means is uh, this will test the coding skills of the candidate uh, which you are applying for the technical role right so one question will be there generally on coding uh, that is one question on dsa data structures and algorithm as asked for which uh, 60 to 90 minutes that is one to one and a half an hour is given so here uh, they will test your programming skill technological skills uh, to write code like you can use different languages like c plus plus java python and everything right so this is how you will be applying for the sda role so as i told you already uh, so we have seen some three roles right basically so uh, yeah so blockchain developer role and a framework developer role and SDE role apart from this also there are many roles which is uh, posted by uh, Samsung company uh, this is the official page where you can check for the careers right here you can see the option career or if you scroll down here you can explore all the jobs here so if I click on search jobs you will be able to see a bundle of jobs which is available and which is currently uh, they are hiring right so where you can check for each jobs what is the role so here you can see 641 jobs are there from this you can filter right so if you are a year pass out student so accordingly you can filter so here you can see many roles regional head uh, for you people uh, manager soc associate manager samsung wallet hr department see here software development specialist so like this many uh, jobs are there right so you can search for the jobs so if you are applying for SDE you can search for SDE if you are applying for blockchain uh, web developer you can uh, search that or for framework developer you can search that 
so search and you can click on this where you will be able to apply so you basically you will uh, upload your resume and uh, you will fill all the details so here you can click on apply and you can upload your resume and you can update it so this is basically how you will be applying for the uh, samsung off campus drive uh, 2023 so go through all the job uh, careers and uh, all the eligibility criteria and everything and find out which you are perfect fit with or which you are okay with so that you can click on that and you can upload your resume over there apply for the particular role and you can prepare accordingly like for coding part which role you have applied for that particular role what is needed accordingly you can start preparing yeah that's it guys